Intramuscular injection means a drug is injected into a deep muscle tissue. Let's check the articles required. For most of the injections, these are the articles required and the needle size and the syringe size may vary depending upon the type of injection, type of patient and type of medication. First one is non-sterile or disposable gloves in order to avoid spreading infections from an intubation and NSCL solution can be used as an antiseptic as it is able to kill and prevent the growth of many bacteria and obviously the medication then the syringe depending upon the volume of medication we can select the size of syringe and drawing up of needle and drawing up syringe we are using to withdraw medication from ambulatory survivors and needle for injection at the time of injection change drawing up needle with needle for injection then alcohol swab to wipe the area of injection to avoid spreading infection and ghost piece to apply pressure over injection site after injection to prevent bleeding. This figure will give you an idea of where should be the tip of needle while giving intramuscular injections in compared to other injections like subcutaneous, intravenous and intradermal injections and also give you an idea of angle of inclination while giving this type of injections. For intramuscular injections, the needle tip should be in the muscle and for that we have to place the needle at 90 degree angle. And for subcutaneous injections, in order to reach the subcutaneous tissue, we have to place the needle at 45 degree angle. For fat people, we can use even 90 degree for subcutaneous injections. And for intravenous injections, in order to reach the vein, after palpating the vein, position the needle at 25 degree angle of inclination and for intradermal injections use 15 degree inclination to reach the tip of needle just into the dermal layers of skin let's check the sites of im injection first one is deltoid side we have to give injection into the deltoid muscles after making the patient relax with elbow slightly flexed palpate acromion process then below three finger width from the acromion process and above deltoid tuberosity assume a triangular area and middle of this triangular area will be the site of injection where deltoid tuberosity is the point of attachment of deltoid muscle over humerus Next is gluteal side. We have dorsal gluteal and ventrogluteal sides. Dorso means back of the body and ventro means front of the body and gluteus is the muscles of buttock. So dorsal gluteal means back of the gluteal muscle. So in order to gain access to the back of the patient, we should maintain the patient in prone position. Prone position means patient face is positioning downwards and patient buttock will be facing us and then divide the buttock into four quadrants and outer upper quadrant will be our point of injection why we are focusing towards the outer upper aspect because when we go more medially then there is a chance of hitting sciatic nerve sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in our body if we injure the sciatic nerve, the patient may get paralyzed. So beware of hitting sciatic nerve while giving gluteal injections. In order to get the correct position, draw an imaginary line from the greater trochanterofemur to the posterior superior iliac spine and take it two finger width above from the imaginary line, then we will get the correct position of injection. Next is ventrogluteal side that is front of gluteal muscle. First, pa patient should be in side lying position. After that, palpate iliac crust using middle finger and anterior superior iliac spine using index finger and palm should be over greater trochanteral femur. Then assume a triangular area between this middle finger and index finger. Between these two fingers will be site of injection. 
If we maintain the patient in left lateral position, use our right hand. And if we maintain the patient in right lateral position, use our left hand to find out the spot of injection. Next is vastus lateralis. It is the most common site for IM injection. It is one of the muscle of quadrus of femoris group of anterior thigh. To locate vastus lateralis site, palpate greater trochanter of femur and take a hand width below greater trochanter of femur and hand width above patella. We will get vastus lateralis site for injection. The top border will be the hand width below greater trochanter of femur and the bottom border will be hand width above the knee and the side borders varies from mid anterior thigh to mid lateral thigh. Let's see the procedure after checking physician order, arrange necessary articles and go to patient side. Then explain procedure to the patient and position the patient according to the site of injection. Here it is deltoid side. So make the patient in a sitting position with the elbow slightly flexed. Then inspect the area of injection. Then clean the area with antiseptic liquid. After that, hold the syringe between thumb finger and forefinger in a pen holding manner and pierce the needle at 90 degree angle. Before injecting medication, aspirate the syringe for any blood is coming. If blood is coming, discard the medication and prepare new medication. Then inject the medication slowly. After injecting the medication, withdraw the needle slowly by supporting the surrounding tissue. After withdrawing the needle, apply some counter pressure over the injection site to prevent bleeding. Then discard the needle, hand wash and properly document the procedure.